months after a fire. The focus is on the water. What we're looking here, this is the North Fork of the Colorado River. For Ken Fusick. And so this is coming right out of the burn area. The Colorado snowmelt. I can look at this water and I can tell you it's not fine. Looks different this year in Grand Lake. You see the birds out there and then you see all of the, the logs and stuff coming down the river. In one of the most beautiful parts of Colorado. It is a matter of perspective. Perspective helps show the impact of the East Troublesome Fire long after the last firefighter went home. Because if you look at this picture right here, and you would think nothing's wrong, and then we take our drone and we look at it from above, and you say, nothing's right. Okay, so we're gonna start heading it out over the lake. It's a good day for flying. Ken works with the Upper Colorado River Watershed Group, using a grant from the State Department of Health to research the fire's impact on the area's watershed. Now we're getting up to almost 5,000 feet out. He uses the only tool that gives him the right view. Look at the bird flying through there. To see the damage. This water is brown, it's like a chocolate milkshake. Normally it's fairly clear. The fire left an already scarred watershed spewing sediments from the mountains into the lake. The flames destroyed the vegetation around the river. The snow melt is pushing ash and dirt and everything that comes with it down the mountain with little to stop it. See these weeds coming into the picture there? See all of that? That's the fire. Normally our streams up here are, you know, gravel uh, and the rocks and the streams. Now all of a sudden you're bringing down all these loads of sediment which start accumulating in the streams and it starts changing the habitat of those streams. We still don't know the full impact of the fire. But when it comes to water, the real concern is now is when, when we get all these sediments into the streams and it's changing, can we ever get back? Perspective shines a new light on a beautiful place. In Grand Lake, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. Weren't those some incredible pictures? Ken told us the impacts could be wide ranging, it could hit fish habitats cause the lake to get shallower, could allow more algae and weeds to grow there. And he says all told it could impact the environment, the ecosystems, even their local economy.